Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to my Annabelle Coming Home movie review. And, um... If I had to describe this movie in one word, that word would be acceptable. It's a very acceptable movie into the franchise. Um, I was going to say consistent, but I think I've used that. I think I'm at the point I'm going to start reusing some words because, uh... I don't know. I don't want to get a thesaurus, and I'm lazy. But this movie's directed by Gary... Doberman. It features Vera Farmiga and Patrick Wilson again as the Warrens. But they're more of a cameo role just to have the continuity of the uh, universe. And Mc stars McKenna Grace, Madison Eisman, and Katie Sarfi. Uh, I've never heard of any of these other three, but it turns out McKenna Grace was actually young Tonya Harding and I, Tonya. And I think McKenna Grace is going to be a star. She's just got the star quality to her, and she was incredible in this movie. I really liked her for some reason. I really, like, found myself rooting for her. She was this religious girl. She was devout. She had some abilities that her mother had. And the interesting thing that I love about this movie is... And, and people don't give this franchise enough credit. It's the only other universe that works besides Marvel. I've been a fan since the very beginning. I liked all the Annabelle movies. This one actually might be... It's either my favorite or my second favorite. I liked the f I liked the first one better than the second one. Um, I don't know where it ranks in the um, in the conjure. I call it the conjuring universe, the conjureverse. Um, but I, I definitely really liked it. And they find ways to make spin-off movies without it being too ham-fisted, like the way DC was doing or the way they did in Age of Ultron. Like there's some characters introduced here, like the Ferryman, the Bride. And even there's like a samurai ghost type thing. All these could be spun off. I'm still waiting to see the Crooked Man too. Um, from, I think that was in The Conjuring 2. Um, all these movies could be spun off into other uh, uh, independent films. And I would go see them. Um, again, James Wan is the mastermind behind a lot of this. He was a writer on this. And Gary Doberman has worked on almost all the other Annabelle movies. And he was also a writer on It. So he's his name to look out for in the horror uh, genre. Um, I enjoyed this movie. Um, I had fun if you're a fan of The Conjuring Verse. I think at this point it's got its solid uh, base of, of uh, fans. Um, but on the Star Trek scale, I give this movie a 77. I recommend definitely going to see it if you're a fan of James Wan and this universe. Um, I really like it, man. Um, I, I kind of got to go make like a little... A little video about all these movies and how they rank up because I um I really enjoy them. Um, you know what I give it? What I say? Seventy five, seventy seven. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, anyways, um, I recommend going to go see it. Um, what did you guys think? Uh, well, you know, you know what? One thing before before I wrap up, there are a couple of things in this movie that us because we know. You tend to say, like, oh, this person's stupid, but... I don't know, there's a couple character decisions that annoyed me, but, uh, you know, after some closer thought, I realized that the character doesn't know any better. So, it's, it's, eh, it's, it's fine. And anyway, it's a little aside there, but... Did you guys see it? Did you like it? Um, let me know, leave your comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.